that is date. I'm all over that. That's <laughs> I just hugged the shit out of her. I was like, that's my girl. Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. It was we had a lot of fun. She's a fun kid. I like I'm gonna keep her for sure. Yeah, yeah, not gonna get rid of that oh, one. Yeah. Nah, I like her. <laughs> She's good shit. She is funny as holy shit. I don't know where she gets her funny from. Um it's probably for me. Listen to her show. Buy my book. It's not funny, but buy it. It's on Amazon. All right. That's enough about me. Send me an email. Lady Anta Blow Me. You retards at gmail.com. <laughs> you retards. I don't think we ever got around to talking about them. They own the name. Fuck. Fucker. Did we talk about that? I don't remember if we did on the air or not. They own the name. I think we did. They bought the name 10 years ago. It's their name. Yeah. They can do whatever the fuck they want. It still doesn't make them a bunch of good people. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) No, it makes me think they found this one and just pulled it out to be relevant. As I've said right at the beginning, this was just a thing to get on the news and sell their shitty music, and it worked. Yeah, they can't be bothered to record a new album, so this way all they have to do is just put their name on there. So So their Spotify numbers go back up. I don't know about... I should have been reading some news on the bus, but I was too busy not doing that. I was Spreading uh, the love. That is cool. I did have a couple of good stories. Number one, uh, ironically, uh, Corey Feldman is being accused of sexual misconduct by the Actors Guild. Really? So, oh, yeah. A bunch of complaints. But the Screen Actors Guild about his behavior. A couple of women have come forward against Feldman. So there you go. That just shows everyone in Hollywood sucks dick and balls. If it's true, if not, then yeah, everyone in Hollywood sucks dick and balls because you're just like, fuck. Well, he's been accusing Hollywood the whole time, and now he's it's like that's the best comeback you can have. It no, we don't. You do, and it <laughs> works. <laughs> the oh, I'm rubber, man. your glue theory from the second grade actually turns yeah. out that's totally <laughs> legit. It actually works. Who'd have thought? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, what wow. was the other? Yeah, that was an interesting. There was another interesting thing this weekend that I was really excited to talk to you about, and then I got um, um, nearly diagnosed with the worst thing that's ever happened in the history of the world. What they say? And I like just because of my shitty attitude and my COVID doesn't matter thing. Like no, I'm getting no sympathy from anybody. I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, and I have it. <laughs> and it's like whatever, dude. Just not nobody gives a shit about me having it. Um, and neither do I, so whatever, but it would just be nice. Like I, like one scared person would be nice. It would be kind of cool. Um, but they don't exist because whatever, I don't care. Um, what the fuck else did I have this weekend? It was a really good story I wanted to talk to you about. It had like gold or something in it. I don't remember. Right. Well, I'll think of it. We'll come back to it. What's going on in the world? I didn't miss, I was all Vancouvered up. I would. Out on the streets, it's 30 degrees and just hot, dirty dudes everywhere. And well, I paid attention to the redheaded girl way too much. I just followed her around like a fucking moron. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure everyone knew what I was doing. And I hope it worked. <laughs> and, they, and they were probably all jealous. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> all right. What's going on in the world? Well, uh, we'll, we'll we'll get the COVID part out of the way. Um, the uh, country of Burkina Faso. My favorite North African nation. There you go, North Africa. Well done. Uh, um, Upper, Upper Volta is, uh, my, my, is a killer town. I want to rock okay. Upper Volta one day. Well, this is the... Way better than of... Lower Volta. Well, that's a piece of shit. <laughs> or what is Trump? Um, a shithole. That's a shithole. Um, yeah. Well, we the, did a, the project on Burkina Faso in grade eleven, right here, right here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did too, grade eleven, and I totally remember everything. Well, good. Then you can you can help with this one because I. This is just humorous. Um, the town of Hundi, H O U N D E. Um, they. Uh, uh, no, that's a Canadian rapper who just got shot recently. 
<laughs> that was Houdini. <laughs> oh, sorry. Very close. <laughs> Seeing if you listen to the show. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, they are now claiming that um, uh, vi- because the markets are all closed because of coronavirus restrictions, um, the uh, they're they're expecting around an uh, ten thousand child child deaths every month. It's gonna that happen. Is something people should pay more attention to. Right now, and maybe. Open the fucking markets. <laughs> now, on top of that, you've got more than 550,000 additional children each month are being struck by what is called wasting, which is malnutrition that manifests in spindly limbs and distended bellies. Uh, yeah. From the lack of food. Now, this is just what's going on in a general thing in this area. Um, but they're saying an additional 10,000 are going to die and they're going to be blaming COVID for that. Yeah. Well, open the goddamn markets and feed your kids. Take it from a COVID, soon to be COVID survivor. The one thing <laughs> I'm having you a know hard gonna time. You know what's going to help your kids? Uh, food, nutrition will help your children uh, be healthier. It will help fight the COVID. Give them food. Well, now here's the thing I'm not quite understanding. So there, this this particular article is centering around this uh, infant that has lost half of her former body weight of five and a half pounds in the last month. So Jeez. down to two and a quarter pounds or two and three quarter pounds. Um, I think that's what I ordered from McDonald's in my hotel room. <laughs> but here's the dumb thing. I'm literally going to read you that here. With the markets closed because of coronavirus restrictions, her family has sold fewer vegetables, and the mother is too malnourished to nurse her. Now, you haven't sold many, which means you have extra. Why aren't yeah. you eating it? Because you don't. You, you, you need the money for your kids, and you just you don't. You just take but you're yourself. not selling it. <laughs> like, it's just, you're just going to let it go to waste? Yes, like this is this. You're gonna let your child die because you're an idiot. I just I don't get it. Let's be honest. It's Northern Africa. She's probably had nine children since we started this conversation. (laughs) Probably. Fucking un. Like I'm just uh, unreal. Why does anyone live in Africa? Stop reading the Africa news. It's so depressing. Yeah, I know. (laughs) It's it's interesting. F. Does anybody live in Africa? That's the title of an episode. You guys can go back and listen to it. There's 250 of them that some of you haven't heard. How exciting is that? Check them out anywhere you already enjoy your favorite podcast. Um, no, I yeah, have. Don't some... let your babies die because of COVID. Feed your babies. Um, yeah. Read that. If you're not, you know what's so you're, funny? If you're not selling your food, like if you, if nobody's buying your food, eat it. Eat the food. You need it. I also, don't pay a lot of attention to what's on the news. My aunt just posted a horrible story about a baby dying in the hospital, and it wasn't true at all. I, I looked at it, and I, I was just like, no, I'm not giving her this one. Usually, I just let them go. But that one was a little emotional, so I wrote a big, long thing on Facebook about it. And uh, nobody listened. Nobody cared. <laughs> but there's a lot of fake news going around out there about this whole COVID thing. Oh, there's Take so it from much. a soon-to-be COVID survivor. That's uh, right. So much. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> um, so we've talked about this numerous times. The um, the infamous um, plane that was shot down in Iran that had 160, 176 people on board, including 55 Canadians. I am at this point shocked that I wasn't on it. <laughs> well, I find this humorous that the Ukrainian government minister, the Ukraine government minister, says that a preliminary preliminary analyst analysis, oh my god, I can't speak at all, of the flight recorders that they have revealed that Iran illegally shot down the passenger jet. Oh, thank you. Thank. Thanks for clearing that up. Let's get the action now. Like, I find it strange that <laughs> Ukraine can call it illegal, but not a fucking word from our glorious fucking moron. Well, the, the Ukraine is where the the war tribunal is, isn't it? Isn't the Hague in the Ukraine? 
Yes, it is. Yeah, that's that's like the place that decides war crimes and stuff. So makes sense for them to do it. Well, a spokesperson for the Ukrainian embassy in Ottawa confirmed the legitimacy of the tweet, but said her government has no further comment. Oh, of course not. Putin won't let them. Well, that's just it, right? Yeah, Pootie Pie. Um, I'm totally going to call him that when I meet him one day, and I'm just going to get a bullet right in the fucking temple. <laughs> well, the actual... Oh, Pootie Pie. The tweet itself that went out was... Um, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this guy's name, because... It ends in Chonko, I guarantee it. No. Fuck it. Yevhenny Yenin. Yevgeny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah. guy. I've heard of him. Yenin. Okay. Uh, he said he was grateful to all uh, partners who helped. <laughs> he said grateful to all partners to help bring this moment closer. Black boxes from PS752 were read out and deciphered successfully. The trans- transcript confirmed that the fact, uh, the sorry, the transcript confirmed the fact of a legal interference with the plane. We are waiting for the Iranian side for the first round of talks next week. So wait, it did not confirm. Um... As uh, someone acting, uh, uh, going against Iranian orders? No, they're not saying anything about that. They're just saying it was an illegal act, did, what they did. Didn't confirm any um, malfunction? No. Hmm. No malfunction. I just remember uh, when I moved, first moved out of the hotel into the place I'm staying now, um, Iran said it was malfunctioned or that someone was miscommunicated or someone didn't follow orders. And I just figured one of those three would show up on the black box since that was the three official stories they gave out all at once. Yeah, (laughs) but uh, no. (laughs) Maybe there's a fourth story coming. We can only hope, right? Iran? (laughs) We are going to get a prime minister with some balls to fuck you up one day. Yeah, and it's it's going to be glorious. I don't know who she's going to be, but she's going to be fantastic. We need to get a female in there, obviously. Didn't. The counter Trudeau is horrible waste of nothingness for the last four years. Yeah, so it'd be funny, nice I to have somebody with a pair of balls I in told... it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I'm going to have way more balls in a guy than he ever will. I said before the last election, I said, you watch. This guy gets elected again, and he's doing fucking nothing for nobody for four years. Couldn't have called Look that at us now. Yeah, right, eh? We need to. We. I don't know what the world thinks. I don't care. Really. But I guarantee they're not thinking good things about Canada and our ability to stand up to threats globally when our plane very obviously gets shot down. By hostile forces, and we just fucking take it. Like they could have just taken that plane and jammed it right up our Capitol Hill. That means my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> metaphor. That's a metaphor for my ass. <laughs> um, might as well. Just what the fuck? Why are we even in Missy? Like we're not gonna do nothing. Like uh, if the Ukraine takes the reins on this, and like at least they'll get charged. With a war crime, which is awesome because it is, but you'd think one of us, someone in our government might stand up and say, yeah, we agree with that, too. <laughs> yeah, what they said, we were just about to say that. <laughs> you just beat us to the punch. Yeah, so No point in saying it now. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing from these guys. I um, feel like we don't even have a government, really. I feel like, who the fuck is running this thing? Nobody. Just out handing out Serb checks. That's the whole thing. And distracting people from the fact that we're just a pathetic, useless nation. And put Rob Ford on TV every day for Ontario. That's all we get. Here's your Serb check. No, we get Bonnie Henry. We don't even get Rob Ford. No, we get Rob Ford every day. Every day he's doing his update. Trio yeah, doesn't sorry, say Doug. shit, but Rob... <laughs> Doug? Or, sorry, Doug Ford, whatever. Doug, Rob, whatever. Is that Rob thing. Ford on the news every day? That's fucked up. <laughs> prancing a corpse around hey look this will take your minds off everything it's big dead Rob big dead Rob just fucking weekend at Bernie's him <laughs> he's still got a crack pipe oh, hanging, hanging out of his pocket crack pipe hanging out of his pocket I'm back everybody I'm back on the crack COVID smoking COVID brought me My back falls out. <laughs> COVID's not bad for you brought me back look at me I just pops out on the sidewalk oh that's gross smoke some crack 
<laughs> I'm going to use my eyes. 